Okay, take three. <laughs> uh, greetings, YouTube subscribers, followers, preppers. Hello, this is Farmer Son Prepping. Uh, first order of business, let me give a huge thank, uh, thank you to Prepper Tribe for helping me get my message out last week. Uh, appreciate you, brother. Uh, thanks to Gardener Josh as well for helping spread the word about the channel. Uh, and thanks for Just Josh and Stanley and uh, Patriot Sandwich Maker and a few other channels. Thank y'all for subbing as well. I do appreciate that. Thank y'all. Uh, okay. Thank y'all. I do appreciate it. Want to continue our two videos ago we were talking about free storage containers or free ways to store your preps. Want to continue that discussion today. Uh, I am at a point in my prepping where organization and storage is starting to become an issue. Especially for canned goods and your like mountain house and that kind of stuff because I have a lot of both. Uh, but uh, anyhow, let me let me take y'all over here and show you what I'm talking about. All right, Rocky and Ripper, I'm going to get out of the way. Move, move, sign. All right, here we have. Let me get down here on my knees here. Here we have the aqua bricks. I have many of these. This is not all I have, but this is this is ones I drug in here for this video. Uh, these are great. These are uh, storage for my water, for my drinking water. Uh, but, uh, I also use, well, oh, that was apple juice, looks like, but I also use containers, uh, that I get when I buy groceries that are tough looking, thick, you know, I think this one was a sunny delight. These are some good containers. That one, it looks like that milk, uh, jug stuff, but this is thick. So, I fill these up. These are used for... Well, for first of all, my pets, they got to have water too, okay? Uh, Dishwashing, toiletries, sanitation. So, yeah, uh, I fill any kind of jug, any kind of strong jug up uh, with water and store that. A lot of people use these, the old standard milk jug. Uh, and I understand why they do. Hey, sometimes you got to use what you got. I do not particularly use these. I live with a 70 pound German Shepherd over there. Once wipe of his tail, these fall and bust. I've already had that experience. So I don't use these. I usually give these to somebody or trash them. But I understand why people use them. I do. <clears throat> okay. Me and Miss Pink Kitty were talking about, uh, that's one of my subscribers. We were talking about using cat litter buckets. And I definitely use cat litter buckets. My sister has cats. She throws these away. She's the one that labeled this trash. But I, I use these. Uh, this one in particular is for dry dog food storage. But I have canned goods uh, buried in these. And I have uh, staples like rice and stuff. Uh, these are not food grade. Of course they're not. But... If you're putting your rice in a Mylar bag, it doesn't matter what the bucket looks like, okay? These we've talked about before. Moving on. Uh, yes, milk crates. I have been filling up milk crates with canned meat, as you, as you see here, roast beef. Okay, I've been filling these up with canned meats or meals in a can. Uh, and these are awesome, y'all. They're strong. They lock in. You can stack them as high as your ceiling will allow you to stack them. Uh, and like I said, man, they're just strong. They have the good ventilation so the cans don't get hot, too hot. Uh, and that way they're ventilated properly. You know, you can keep them at, at the appropriate temperature for long-term storage. So I've started, depending on these, I can't afford a shelving unit right now. Really don't have much of a place to put one either. Uh, so I have eight or nine of these, y'all, that are full of canned goods, full of canned meats. 
meals in a can. And I also have a few that are full of Mountain House as well. Uh, so, yeah, I love these. Uh, let me get up. I gotta put these rods up back in that rod rack. Uh, anyway, Dad gave me this old bag here yesterday. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But, I mean, it, it needs to be cleaned up. That's obvious. But, you know, that's a nice leather bag. I could probably put some oil on that. Uh, but it, this is kind of a suede looking stuff. I don't know about this. I could put oil on that. But, uh, I thought about making a blackout bag. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a bag oriented around grid down uh, power outages. Uh, so I thought about making a blackout bag uh, and adding it to my preps. So y'all, yeah, what are some ideas uh, that I could put in my blackout bag? Uh, obviously, I think flashlights and candles will be one of my first choices. But uh, y'all give me some ideas down in the comments. And I sure would appreciate that. Uh, I mean, I've already got my Maxpedition pack here. She's uh she stacked out the way I like it. Uh, I started out you know with Walmart stuff prepping uh, survival stuff, and then slowly I've upgraded all my stuff to you know good name brand stuff. So I've got my pack the way I like it. This could be a blackout bag or some other. Uh, if you have another idea for use for this bag, let me know in the comments, and I would appreciate that. Uh, okay, let's sit back down here. Pardon me. So, yeah, uh, y'all give this video a, a thumbs up and a like if you would, or a thumbs up is a like, but thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you think, we'd appreciate that. Uh, any interaction, comments, we love comments. Uh, so, yeah, thank y'all for watching. Uh, and just a few more ideas for how to store preps. Uh, the milk crates were free to me. Dad, Dad's a prepper. And Dad gets, if it's free, he'll get it. I don't care if it's a dump truck full of corn cobs. If it's free, he'll take it. And uh, that's how he ended up with hundreds of these milk crates. So I use these. I love them. But they sell those on Amazon for a couple of dollars a piece, I think. But these were free to me. Find them free if you can. And uh, the uh, cat litter buckets, also awesome. I use many of those. I have many of those that are buried with food in them. I don't put all my eggs in one basket. That's just a smart, careful way of thinking. So, yeah. More ideas on how to stock and organize your preps. Uh... Anyhow, we appreciate y'all watching. We hope you're having a blessed day. Uh, stay strapped up. Stay alert. Have your situational awareness. Uh, stay prayed up. Uh, the soul needs to be prepped too. Sometimes, uh, sometimes for us to have liberty, you know, just like our military, they have to give their lives sometimes for our freedoms. So you have to be prepped up for that as well. This is Farmer Sun Prepping. We appreciate y'all watching uh, and appreciate all the new subs. Thank you again, Prepper Tribe. Thank you, sir. Uh, God bless you and yours. Farmer Sun Prepping. We're out.